We're on playing solo on Reddit EU main, which is around a 600 pop server, but it is currently kind of morning, so I'm not expecting that many people to be on. Last time I checked, it was like 400 pop, 300 pop. I am actually a day late since I did try to start on a different server, but that didn't really go well since the server seems to have died quickly. I didn't see this little area next to airfield, outpost, oxims, even though if it's still taken, I could possibly go around M15, but there's a shop here. Now my mind was set, I wanted to build next to airfield and have outpost kind of close. Okay bro, I'm getting lucky. But the problem is the server is going to reach 700 players soon enough, so I gotta be as fast as possible to make a base. Could actually use the handmade shells. But then I ran into a small problem. There's no f***ing way I crashed. I f***ing did. Holy sh**. I'm actually, I'm actually finding a lot of cloth. That's good. Good sign, you know. A nice pick. Okay, it's not open. Good. I'm not looted. I'm not looted. That's good. There we go, enough bones. I'm gonna make a key lock with DC as well. And I'm gonna need to get some wood while low grade crafts. And while I was getting wood, I came across something that was right next to me and I'm not quite sure how I missed it. Oh no. That's a 3x3. Three three. A 3x3 three three right next to my 1x1. One one. I don't exactly know their size but that can't be any good. Yeah, I may need to move my base a bit. I don't want to live right next to a 3x3. Three because three, I don't know how many they are and they are online, I believe. I just heard footsteps like coming towards. Not only are they online, they seem to have semis as well. Maybe up here a bit. I mean, honestly, I only have a one by one right now, so it shouldn't be that hard. Maybe up this mountain, like right here on top. Oh, there's a shelter right here. This is a good spot though. And it seems like I've found the perfect base spot, right on top of the mountain, where I can basically look down onto everyone. Okay, I can build here. Now that I have a base down, I gotta move the loot from the first base to the second base before the first base actually get raided. Hopefully this spot isn't too bad. It may seem that I live in the middle of nowhere, but I do have a couple of uh, monuments around. I just gotta walk. Bro. 
No way. No way. Okay, I, I, I don't care. I'm gonna live here. Now, I thought I was a lot safer here, but turns out there is a larger base right under the mountain, which I didn't see again when I was building. Hello. Do you live down here? Yes, yes, I'm outside. Look. Here. Oh, this is your base? I yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't see your base when I built and then I saw it. No, no problem, no problem. You I, don't I, shoot us, we don't raid you. This, this is good, maybe. Okay, I am I am solo. I am solo. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I am thank you. you now. Okay, thank you. No problem. Good game. Now they seem friendly enough, but I had no choice other than to ally with them. But not even a minute after, he shown me his true colors. Why you raid me, bro? No, I just I just gotta buy time. I gotta spawn outside. I can't open this door. This is my only door and there's a guy outside. I gotta spawn in my other base. There's no other option. There's no way I can leave this base without getting door camped now. I am getting door camped. I thought you were friendly, bro. Maybe I, we are friendly. We I tried to be you. friendly with you, man. Oh my god, you are friendly now? Okay, Back I'm off, bro, you tried to raid me. Go craft I'm satchels, bro. Go craft okay. satchels. I, I craft satchels. Coming. I am coming now. Coming. <laughs> I'm moving a semi to my other base. That is him. 
Now since I'm basically a target, I have to farm a lot, upgrade this place as quickly as possible. We gotta farm as fast as possible, bro. This is gonna be intense. And possibly make it into a bunker, which is gonna change the whole base design idea I had before I joined. And of course they kept coming back, putting me at risk while I was upgrading. Coming down to the reap pain. Does this bunk even work anymore? Okay, so it does work. Honestly, thought he was a nice guy. I actually trusted him. That guy. But why would he do this? He could have formed an alliance. But no, he had to go and fuck it all up for the both of us. Now we're both stuck here, two enemies living next to each other. I'm solo, they're probably a group. They can probably raid me, but they made me make a bunker base. Now feeling a little safer in this base, I spawned in my other base, got a semi and moved it back. Oh my god. They're probably farming to raid me. This is honestly really stressful, not gonna lie. A bumpy? Is that the guy that I tried to raid me? Who's that? I don't know who that is. Oh no, my first death, so that was one of them. Okay, so he is on my roof. Need to stay outside of the base as much as possible since if I get door camped and I get stuck inside, it's like. It's like basically stopping my progress. I don't even know if that killed him. I think that's one of them. Okay, that's good.
Just keep going. I just gotta keep going. Honestly, I've been focusing on getting stone and metal for much too long because I wanted to upgrade the base as much as possible and as soon as possible. But now comes the real challenge. Getting scrap for workbench level 1. I don't even have a workbench yet. I don't even know how... Okay, good thing. I live next to this L15 train system. The train tunnels, I mean, and get some scrap from there. But that's risky and I need bullets for that. I need ammo. Now the main problem, I only have 90 scrap and I need to make a workbench, a research table, research bullets and craft more. So train tunnels is pretty much out of the question for now. Okay, to get scrap I'm gonna either have to go to sad dish or airfield and both are really contested I don't even have meds oh they're raiding my base now okay that guy is good Uh, there's nothing, nothing in here. Really good crate right there. Fuck me, bro. Oh. oh, bro, that was a huge run. I actually really needed that. <laughs> Research table is being crafted, and while the crafts, let me make it more cozy, even though I'm pretty much low on everything. Okay, first do I research a semi? A semi is a really good blueprint, but then I do have two revies and a python. Okay, I'm gonna research pistol ammo first. What? I glitched it. Wait, did I just find a glitch? Oh, whoa, 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 what? Okay, I just need a little bit more scrap for the semi. Now oh, getting scrap is really tough. I just kept dying over and over again. Basically every monument is on hold by some kind of group. Or I kill someone that has a lot of loot and I have to just depot back to base even though I don't have scrap.
Bro, I didn't even realize until now that that guy had so much wood. And basically waiting for the fights to cool down, I didn't want to waste time, so I went out to get some farm. And since my base was surrounded by a lot of nodes, it didn't take long for me to get stacked with a lot of farm. And now the only thing I can do is try to get some scrap. Okay, honeycomb is done. Hopefully. This is the last bit and that should be done. Now, for the hard part, getting scrap. Getting scrap is hard because there's just too many people around me. I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go to get scrap, but I did actually research the semi. I don't even have much to recycle. A land mine? Bro, I'm gonna make a minefield. I am gonna make a minefield. If I get this back to base, I'm actually making a minefield. Okay, satellite dish seems to have cooled down a bit. One twenty five scrap. Okay, yeah, sixty scrap is not bad. Yeah, Now for some odd reason I was so focused on getting scrap that I forgot I live next to a train tunnel's entrance and that could possibly be my safest and best option for me to get scrap. Get scrap from there but I'm gonna need a recycler that's gonna be next to outpost. Now thinking of going in the train tunnels I'm gonna need more space and to get more space well this is a perfect update for it. Back. Pack. I'm crafting myself a backpack. Now the small backpack doesn't need a blueprint and it's really useful for a solo when going into train tunnels. Okay, so two python headshots killed them. I'm gonna have to risk it and go towards outpost. 
Try to recycle. choice here. And after all of that, I finally made it to Outpost. Now I got her at night time but outpost was completely filled with people. Every recycler was taken and I basically had to wait for my turn. And I have a shit ton of components that I can recycle so this is gonna take me a while. Okay 450 scrap. Ugh. Now how do I want to go back? Do I want to go back? It's getting morning. Do I want to run back or do I want to go back using the tunnel? That is the main question. Now honestly, train tunnels felt a little more risky than going on foot, but on foot is a lot more scarier, especially when you have 450 scrap on you. It's about to get morning. I see my base, it's up there. At the mountain peak. <laughs> Fuck. I'm in base. I'm in base. 760 scrap. Oh my god. Pork bench level 2 is being crafted. Now I've actually haven't seen my neighbors for quite a while but they're outside my base now farming with a jackie. I took him to 13 HP, one more hit he would have been dead. Now I've actually seen a lot of people go into this forest so I decided to make a minefield right in here and place them basically in every bush and every little so I'm stone. I'm placing a total of 7 landmines in this forest. I just gotta learn to dodge these bushes. Some of you might think this is annoying but hey, it's rust. Everyone door camps, everyone roof camps, why should I not make a minefield? Well, what with a stone pickaxe? I'm gonna have a shop here. I don't know what I'm gonna sell, but I'm gonna sell something. I'm actually cooking with this base. I 
After doing some base upgrades, I organized my boxes a bit and then I made my way to Outpost to buy an electric furnace and the garage door. And what a surprise, my neighbors are the ones selling the furnace. One electric furnace. And one garage door. Okay, so both are 75 scrap. I'm surprised none of my landmines went off yet. I was just trying to get scrap and they had so many meds as well. Oh my god. Another one? Okay, I just gotta go recycle and go depot. Got two chainsaws and a salvaged axe. That's such a rat pick, bro. I gotta make a new base design with that pick. Oh no. Now keep in mind this is still day one of me playing the server, but things were just going insane so I've been pretty much playing all day and now it was time for me to go off. I've set up electric furnaces, put my solar panel down, I sealed the bunker, added some stuff to the shop so I can actually wake up to some scrap and went off. <clears throat> well, it seems like I am not raided. Just let me scout my area before I open up the bunker. And my shop. Oh, my shop fully sold out. There we go. I don't know why I have metal in here, but I do. Since I don't see any nodes around. Well, not many nodes. I do see stone, but I don't really need stone at the moment. I still do need a lot of scraps, so I went back down to the train tunnels, but this time it was kind of empty. But even if my area is empty, I can just go far away and farm more scrap. 
Now I'm gonna skip quite ahead because all I've been doing is just farming scrap while being down here. Whew, that was a huge run. Okay, good. I have a lot of components. Now, this is a risk I'm gonna have to take. I'm gonna have to go recycle while... Is it turning nighttime or is it turning daytime? Even though, I do have two weapon flashlights, I believe. I gotta go. I gotta go. I need three of these. I need this. Do I have a splitter? And the splitter. I need a splitter. So now, hopefully, that should work. It looks kind of odd. Uh, I should have colored it probably, but um, it's too late. I'm gonna get some ore and see if it actually works. So now it should work. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay, perfect. Someone just died to my landmine. <laughs> my oh, poor guy. There's so many fucking landmines. I don't even know where I'm placing them, but I'm placing them. I gotta watch where I'm going with this. Place a wall, god damn it! Okay, bro, the wall so fucked me so hard, man. I don't know why it didn't let me place the wall. Maybe it's because of the train tunnels, but that shit almost made me lose all this. It's in my minefield. These two guys live right next to me. They have a 2x2 two two, so I shouldn't really worry about them for now. It's 
Someone just tried to land the mine. Oh, what is happening? There's a hazy. More revis for my shop, thank you. And a P2. Bro, the land mines are actually insane. I don't even know where they are, but... Okay, that looks pretty decent. Now, we have this shop. Well, someone just fucking died to my landmine and he had satchels in the semi. Someone actually went into my minefield with satchels and he died. And this is not the last time I'm gonna see him because he's gonna keep coming back. Of course, with his friends. There's one more. I think he just died. He just died! Gotta go, man. I'm such a raid target now. It's like, oh my god. And this is the first time I died to the roof camper on the other side of the forest. So it's this space, but <clears throat> where is the roof camper located? It's like in this compound over here. Oh, I see him. I see him, he's fucking naked. I say it has has he. Now to do a favor for everyone in my area, I tried to jump in into their compound. Unfortunately for me, they have a turret, so I can't really go any further. Even if I kill the roof camper, I can't really get up to his roof. Not even a few minutes later, they have a tall fucking tower. I don't even know what I can do about those roof campers. I'm actually thinking of asking my neighbors if they are online, asking them if they can drop me on top of their roof with a heli and I will give them the bolty. I'm really considering that option. If you're wondering which neighbor I'm talking about, I'm talking about a neighbor that tried to raid me. I know you might think that this is a dumb idea, but I am gonna offer them the bolty if I do manage to kill the guy because I just want to get rid of them. Oh bro, I need, I need my neighbors, man. Uh, they have a mini I could really fucking use right now. Hello? North? It's your neighbor, Waffle. Now they didn't really respond, so I just sent him a friend request on Steam, hoping that he would add me.
Without the mini, all I could do is just annoy them. I made a silencer, hid in a base, and started shooting them. And that was enough of me messing around with the roof campers. I sealed the bunker and went off for day two. Sealed the bunker. Ah! It is day three of me playing. Go on a recycle run. Take all of these. This. Laptop. Like trash. Oh no, it's turning daytime. I'm fucked. Let me in. Ooh, that was a huge run. Even more scrap in here. You know what, I'm gonna go deep, I'll get ladders. What are you doing, man? Make four ladders, that's overkill, but I'm gonna make it anyways. Keep roof camping, keep roof camping. Since it was basically raining the whole day, I've just FK'd waiting for the rain to stop because it kind of got annoying. But then I got a message from my neighbor. I basically explained why I added him and then he told me he's quitting and that he wants to give me his base. At first I didn't really want to accept but I felt like I kind of deserved it. Well, my power just went out. Well, I don't make enough power. It is going back up by small amount. Honestly, if they have GP, I can do a raid. Time to see. It works. They actually gave me their codes. Ooh. 
Yo, they're actually stacked. Let me just get TC. Oh my god. L9 Bolty? Okay. I can maybe get raided now. They don't have guns though. And after checking what they had, they actually didn't have much. Only an L9 and a Bolty and basically some farm. I moved most of the important stuff back to my base and I decided to build a roof camping tall tower. But I was not gonna roof camp everyone I see. I had some ground rules. I'm not gonna roof camp naked. I'm not gonna roof camp prim kids. I'm not even gonna roof camp semi kids. Unless they are a big group or they are full metal that are able to raid me. Broke the number one rule. Don't roof camp random people. I can raid that base. They're all nine. Now with this guy, it's really important to continue with this story. So keep in mind his name, and that is his base. You can keep this base, there isn't much, but there should be upkeep, B2, Revy, shit like that. <clears throat> I live up the mountain here, you would, you would see my base if you go out. Now since I have no use for this base, I decided to give it to someone else, but I did take most of the stuff. And yes, this is the only reason I built this tower. So I can finally roof camp the roof campers. But I decided to go for a couple of hours so I did lock a box up here, put the L9 in basically everything else I had and logged off. Well I'm not raided, but someone actually took my L9. Because I left it on top of the roof, like the thing over there with the bag. But someone built up and actually soft-sided and then he basically took it but even though he took it i honestly don't care because i'm gonna go do some raids now i actually moved the workbench level 3 from my neighbor's base to my base so i can craft expo ammo and basically everything else much faster Okay, now we've just seen two names that shouldn't be together. Legend, I've seen him a while back when he had satchels and he went into my minefield and I killed them all. But this guy, Killua, I'm gonna call him Killua for now, but this guy is the same guy that I agreed to not roof camp. Now you might wonder why is this a bad thing? Well, at first I thought Killua was just trying to progress because that's basically what he told me. But I didn't know they had satchels before I even did. But that is a small thing, so I still don't have a problem with them.
Das würde ich gerne bitte. Fucking legend. Now that was something new. Legend and Kilwa having bolties and they counter raided me. Now they also started to roof camp me as well. I didn't get my explamo. <clears throat> They actually asked me to not roof camp them yesterday. I had no clue Legend was one of them. Парню вы такие бомжи нахуй, я ебал. Gotta somehow get their bolty off them. I just need to kill him once and then I can get his bolty. Now I have no clue what they are saying, but he said something about roof camp, so I know he's talking about me. Kill one and legend. This is not gonna end well for you guys. Thank you. 
waffle yourself, your fucking bitch. I hate you. I hate Shut you. Shut the fuck up. Way. Shut the fuck up. You guys suck Shut ass, bro. You are not, bro. I tried to be nice to them. I didn't roof camp them at all yesterday. Now, Kilwa was really toxic. He basically said some really messed up stuff that I'd rather not share on here because I'm not even sure if I can. But that made my decision making very simple. I'm just gonna raid them and completely get rid of them. Well, I'm gonna go finish my raid that I was doing. There is door. I didn't die, I just killed him. His body's right here. Oh, then my teammate just killed him. He had a semi. It is one of them legends. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you for taking all our loot again, bro. No problem, bro. No problem. Another semi. Oh, I don't even have TC. Okay. Not good. Okay, bro. I said I was. Profit. You can keep this as a second base. Sort of. Oh, you had my L9, bro. This is the guy that went up my roof. I need a bag in here, but. This guy has no cloth. I don't think this guy is a solo.
gotta go, man. I gotta fucking go. Okay, successful raid, successful cleanup. Got an AK, an LR, a bunch of meds and a gear set. I even got my Elnan back, which is kind of crazy. I gotta go, I'm lagging. I don't know if it's me or the server, but something is lagging. I'm actually gonna research the AK right now. Yeah, might as well. But it pants, get these. I basically used as much scrap as possible, but now, even though they might not have anything, it is time to raid this is actually good. legend. I'm so fucking dumb, bro. I need more for at least two more doors, which I do think I have enough for. I think I should have enough. No, I think I should have enough. Uh, sorry, what'd you say? It was just, I just wanted to know if you did, because I could give you it. Yeah, I got all their guns before, so... Oh, this is... okay, I guess. Yeah, they have nothing. Well, I guess if you want to, you can take everything else here. And this is basically where I decided to end things. Thank you everyone for watching. Fori is out. Uh -huh.